What is good, everyone? Nah. It is Omega Zero back here once again with more Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. As you can see, we're back in the Labyrinth of Amala. Uh, this is due to us defeating two of the fiends, basically on our way to Kabichigo Prison. Um, one being Daisoho, who we. I, whoa. <laughs> Miss Press there. Um, Daisoho, who we actually have in our party who is really good. Like, very, very good. Like, look at this. Look at that. He has prayer, which is basically just salvation. And that's amazing. Odin's still around. Pixie and me have gone exceptionally high height. I mastered Murakumo, the Miasma one, and the Gaia one. And in doing so, I basically become a lot more combat based than I was before. Granted though, my health is still a bit too low for Gaia Rage, so I might actually get rid of it or Glacial Blast. Just kind of depending on my mood. I also have gotten uh, Kali, who repels dark, is immune to fire and light, but is weak to ice. But has very good all around balanced stats. And can attack everyone and has fog breath. So the next time we come up to a boss battle, her and Odin and will probably be a good combination of lowering attack and evasion. So anyways, the reason we're here in the Labyrinth of Amala is to basically go down into the second Kalpa after receiving the first two, uh, the next two menorahs. Again, gone from Daisoho and Hellbiker. Now, if you're wondering how I received uh, Daisoho, um, in one of the previous episodes, I found the Death Stone. I probably didn't even pay attention to it. It's like, oh, it's just an item. Ow. And it's like, oh, the Death Stone are what allow you to fuse the... Ow. Ow. <laughs> what are what allow you to fuse the Fiend characters. Who are incredibly powerful and they just wreck house on anything that they fight. You obtain 283 Maka. Eh. Not bad, but like I said, we already have it. Labyrinth of the Second Amala Kalpa. So we're in the Second Kalpa. A voice rings out from no out of nowhere. Fiend, accomplice to the fallen angel. That is probably me. Do you know what cause you serve? Do you realize no. which path your actions are leading you down? Yes, but I'm not going all the way down. I have watched your every move from above. Who are you? Is that you, God? You have been seduced by darkness. Now, you are about to defy God's will. Hmm. Okay, so you're not God. Body and a human heart. Heed my warning. Okay. End your dealings with the fallen angel. Before your heart is consumed by darkness. Nah, not right now. Woe unto you, for you can no longer discern good from evil. In this land where demons of chaos dwell, the last of your humanity will eventually be lost. I pray that you return to your world and rid yourself of darkness before it is too late, before God's vengeance strikes this cursed land. I'll give it some thought. And you can no longer hear the voice. So, since it's not God, I want to assume that was Kagatsuchi. Basically, the world, in a sense. This world in which Kagatsuchi is. But anyway, he's telling us, hey, uh, don't listen to the fallen angel. But you can probably guess who it is. That old man, young boy, and only one back. If you put two together, which fallen angel is most commonly associated with Shimigami Tensei and that of the Chaos Route. That is Lucifer, if you've been paying any attention to these games. So he's basically saying, hey, don't mess with him, uh, you might screw over everyone. But uh, we're not fully siding with Lucifer. We placed the Ignore of Dignity, yep. I believe we got that from Hellbiker, you let the Menorah of Dignity. Will you like the Menorah of Eternity? And that's from we got from Daisoho, who is now on our team. So yeah, before you can even go further into Kagetsuchi, uh, into the Labyrinth of Amala, you do need to 
like the two Menards that you receive from these two fiends. And in doing so, you are actually allowed to go further in. So yeah, this part's gonna be quite the hefty one, unfortunately. If I want to explore anything. But that's the whole reason we have Pisaka here, to cast a Stoma to make sure we don't run into anything. Other than probably like once or twice, demons grow restless at your presence. So we'll allow it for like one or two ones. Oh, what's this? We're, oh, this what allows you to return to the entrance to the lab. So basically, the further you go down, you don't have to backtrack all the way up. So anyways, let's go to the Psychic Halpa. Who do we fight this time? More of the same, really. We already seen these enemies, uh, the Black Slime, the Black Goose. Like, none of these enemies are truly new to us. Ooh, but we got different battle music here. So yeah, I'll probably allow like a few different ones to show up to kind of like give a feel for the area. I believe you want to be like 35 or 40 for this level, oh, but guess what? What the? A Floros? I believe that's how it's pronounced. I just heard a voice coming from your direction. It was like the voice of the universe. You weren't hard, were you? Well... That's a first, I think, for a demon that truly cares for our well-being, or he's just curious. Anyways, portals. Hmm, I have a feeling this is going to happen a lot. Let's talk to this soul. A lot of souls have been gathering in the labyrinth. Everyone around here keeps arguing about Gaia, Messiah, whatever those are. Well, if you walk around, you'll see. I guess. Forward and onward! Left, right means this is sealed off completely. We can't get in here. And I still have to find that key for the first one. Maybe I'll show it off in the next episode when we fully complete this Kalpa, because this is going to be like a long episode, like I said. Suck your soul. The soul is too busy talking to Nussie. Everyone, listen. The world has lost its power under the reign of God. Because of that, we're on the verge of destruction. But there is no need to fear the ring of... Oh, no. Yeah, I really should shade the this. Oh no. Great, the Ring of Gaia again. The cult that wanted to destroy the world. Okay, these things. Okay, so I have a feeling that we're not gonna fight truly anything different, eh? I was about to say, I noticed how low our health is. It's kind of weird now that I think about it. We are actually got Look, I'll show off prayer here. Like I said, it's a full heal. It's basically just salvation. So it's actually pretty good if you want to have them, like if you're suffering under certain consequences. But we don't know. That was just mainly to heal us up to show off like, oh, hey, here. Maybe we got hurt because of all the things we hit on the way down here. Ah, great. This is going to be annoying. All these interconnecting rooms and all that. What the? Okay. We are just looking for our way to live in peace with nature and the ancient gods. But the Messian church, brainwashed by a jealous god, won't allow us to do so. I'm telling you, they're the ones who should be oppressed, not us. I don't believe in oppression of any kind. But these guys are annoying and getting on my nerves because I... I'm okay with whatever you want. Believe whatever you want. I really don't care. Just don't preach at me constantly or I get annoyed. That's to go further down. Let's explore further. We haven't really run into any enemies, but now that I said that, we're probably going to run into some now, aren't we? By the way, these doors opening sound weird. Ah, uh, great. That's another way forward. That's... Alright, let's see who we fight now. I'm assuming we're just going to fight a lot of slimes and, like, specters and all that. We can basically one-shot this point. Ooh, look at this. Okay, not the specter. Oh no, Mazionga. You think Odin would be able to resist lightning? I don't know, why not Thor? Maybe an ice lightning. And maybe a weakness to fire? Because of the whole Ragnarok thing? That would actually make more sense than him actually learning fire skills. Ooh, Cache Cube. Smoke Ball. So basically we can guarantee our escape at least once. Yeah, let's... Oh, come on. What is up with this place? I hate it. What the? Uh, that looked like there was a hole in the floor for some reason. Okay. 
Okay, so there's just one room by itself. The middle one. What is in here? Okay, we can descend the ladder. I guess we can do that because we pretty much explored most of the upper floor. Okay. Come on! Oh, these guys again. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start casting a spell now so basically we don't waste our time trying to deal with this and all the constant enemies showing up. Well, like I said, we have different battle music now. So, Pesaka the Magic Man, cast Estoma. So that way we don't fight anything. You don't want to go any further. It's cursed, you know. What does that mean? Do you take curse damage? Uh, let's find out. Estoma? Ah, we still take damage. I really don't care. Oh, dang! That's it. Can we die from damage? Keep pushing the wrong one. No, we cannot. <sighs> Pain! This would have probably been hell to get through if we didn't have this. I'm probably doing this wrong. I'm probably absolutely doing this wrong. But maybe we get something out of this. Probably not though, because I'm probably going to do something. There's probably an easier way to go about this. Because literally nothing's coming to fight us because we are too strong. We are strong. We circled all the way around. You motherfucker. What the? No! I should have been paying more attention to the map. So yeah, we're gonna see the demo be free and convulsed in pain for probably like a few minutes now. I'll just... Basically when we get out of here, I will definitely heal us. Actually, now that I think about it, let's check the map. See if... It looks like we would have fallen down into this area. Or maybe we're supposed to jump down because it... Your feet land out there. Okay, so yeah, Leftoma doesn't work here. Obviously. And yeah, these... This place is obviously starting to get on my nerves. Or at least the damaging part. Because literally, like I said, nothing here can hurt us because we're too strong. Too strong! <laughs> Um, drink. Ow. 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 Well, let's see. Will this be worth it? Probably not. Alright. Then we go further in. Watch it be something truly crappy. Like, like oh, it wasn't worth it. And basically, you just have to go in a square. Like, don't follow that one, or else you'll go back to the original. Truly, what is worth all this pain? Descend the ladder. Okay, so now we can actually heal. Beaching. There we go. Everything's fine and dandy, like cotton kit. What the hell is that? Is that a gin? Is that what was worth it? I can't believe someone really come all the way down here. You see, I made a bet with a buddy of mine. If someone actually managed to make this far down, I have to give that person a prize. Looks like I lost. Here, take this. You obtain, whoa! 250,000 maca? I like you. Oh, heck yeah! Okay! Definitely worth it, I suppose. But yeah, now you have the chance to get basically get the hell out of here. 
Like, oh yeah, it's cursed. Like, why would you want to come down here? Basically, this is telling you to over level. Wow, it's only like three of these, and like, yeah, you're basically on death's door. So the curse here is mighty powerful. But at the very least, there's basically like an instant get out card. Wrong way. Ow. Ow. Yeah, there's an instant way to get out of there. Are you the one he made a bet with, kid? It'd be fun, it'd be some crap if like the kid was like, huh, I didn't think actually anyone would go down there. Looks like I won the bet. Something like that. Anyways, let's cast another B chain on ourselves, because basically say, if we go back down there soon, ish, I guess, we'll, he'll give us something else. I wonder what that something else is. But forward and onward! Left. Yeah, this place is just annoying because of the amount of doors you have to go through for- Gosh dang it, there's nothing in here. Oh, never mind. There's a cachet cube. Magic mirror. Eh. Wouldn't really say it was worth it, but magic mirrors are good. Uh, magic cards, I believe, are what they call- Because I know tetra cards are the physical one. Goodness gracious. That one goes further down. That's probably to another area that we can uh, go further in. Okay. That was it. No, there's nothing here. Truly made to what? Made to waste your time. Oh, I should count this one with the rooms are all interconnecting and basically like right on the verge of connecting one each other. So there's too many gosh dang rooms here. And it sucks for my playthrough because now there's like way too many of them. Ha <laughs> ha. And it makes the playthroughs like unnecessarily long. Is there so many doors here? Here's a soul. You must never forget to say your prayers. If you pray, God will protect you no matter what happens. Eventually, you'll join him in the effort. Now, let us pray. Religious person, I suppose. I thought he was gonna like attack us or something. Demons grow restless. We don't care because we got a stoma. The only thing we should care about really is just the amount of crap we have to go through. Ooh, cache cube. The Kaja Rock, that's good, so that way we don't have to deal with stupid buffs from our enemies. Or debuffs, I can't remember which one casts which. I think it's Tetra. There's another down rock. There's another down one. Is there another one right here? Nope, there's a door. Nothing right there. Where I go? Nothing here. It's not like it's gonna be like the fiend fights from four where you have to actively hunt them down. Hopefully. Well, for some of these, you have to actively hunt them down. Ah, great. Now we got run around in circles, run around in circles, run around in circles. Ah. So we get another six. Come on! Yeah, I know I'm kind of wasting time, but I also want like the best items for these. Because like I said, I think they said Brightest Kagetsuchi is basically like the best items. Open! You obtained a bead chain. I will take that another full heal, but this time for the entire party, that is definitely worth it. Just annoying though. Can I open it from this side? No. What? What is the point then? You can't open it from one side, but you, can op you can't open it from the other, either. It's dumb. It's, it's, it, it, it's moronic. It's stupid. Unless I have to press a switch or find a key here. What's this? Give me another bead. I'll take that. Okay. Interconnecting rooms. I hate this place completely. Look at this. Find another soul. God spoke to us and foretold the destruction of Tokyo. We chased after Ringagai in order to prevent that. 
But we we're here, but we were done in by that devil summoner. Ikawa is a dangerous man. Oh, I was about to say, what? Devil Summer? I didn't pick the other version. Nah, like, nah, they're talking about right. I was like, are they talking about Raido? Nah, they're talking about Hakawa. Uh, well, I guess it's time to jump down. Uh, hopefully we're right this time. Jump! Huh, oh, center of a room. And there's a locked door, so the only way we can go is forward. Oh, come on. Gee, you look worn out. Would you like to rest for a while? I'm good. Who's coming in? Thank you, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this place is just a uh, repose spell, that's good. Yeah, the only thing about this Labyrinth of the Mall that's annoying is just like, Oh, here you go, here. Demons grow restless, so we don't care because we got a stoma. That way we get this cop laced through here. It's, uh... I'm good. I just don't trust him. Maybe he'll give me, like, some sort of sickness or whatever. It's like, oh, shouldn't have trusted me. Okay, that ways to go back up. What? Gosh dang it! Alright! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, alright. Alright, alright, alright. I went to the wrong one. Because I don't know my directions in this game. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Oh yeah, I know why I'm doing this because I want the Uber Pixie. That's pretty much the only reason I'm doing this because I want Uber Pixie. And no, that is not Pixie with an Uber. Okay, hold on. No, I did go the. Oh my goodness, I did go the right way. I'm a freaking idiot. I swear I hate this. Okay. Alright. The joys of a blind playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> At the very least, I have DLC to kind of mitigate the amount of bullcrap that we go through. And y'all, I'm not censoring that one. Alright. Hopefully we don't get sent up because we went the wrong freaking way. The floor below is place filled with the, oh no, if you're headed down below you better be prepared. Once you're down there it won't be easy coming. Ah, I hate invisible walls. The one thing that pains everyone in any video game ever, invisible walls. More invisible walls. Uh, we went to the right side left last time. Let's go to the left side. Are you serious? That's well, These invisible walls are still clearly visible. You just can't see them from a distance. That's it. Like, yeah, this isn't that bad. I thought like we had full on invisible walls, invisible walls. I am not ready real for this one. I'll take a Soma. Okay. Is it what? Oh gosh, it is one giant room. Well, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Like I said, like, you have all this. That one's probably like, over there. Yeah, invisible wall. Demons grow restless. The pain of being curious, ladies and gentlemen. At least I don't have to cast anything like Leftoma or anything to constantly make sure we aren't taking damage so it'll be draining my MP even faster. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay. Literally nothing. 
Do, 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 do. Oh boy, it is gonna probably be a while before anyone actually sees this episode because, good lord, do I have so many episodes to put out. Like, at the time of me recording, I have like, tw I, I had like the playlist is only like at 17. Whoa, we're in the graveyard again. Here is described, here lies Ose. Now yeah, we're in another graveyard. And scribe, here lies Kai Wan. Good, he deserves it! Okay. I'm assuming this was the right way out. Maybe? Because it says for, there's a ladder for us to go back up. So I'm actually going to go back into the invisible room. And see if we can find any more goodies in here. The only problem is, like, it's obviously, like, just the amount of crap you have to run through in order to get through here. You know what I mean? At least there's not... At least... If there was a glitch to at least speed, right? It's like, oh, shh. Let's get out of here. Heck, there might be chicos. It's like, oh, you can just walk through walls. Like, nothing stops you. But if you went through here, it would actively, like, oh, no, screw with your game. Would it be funny? Oh, absolutely. It would also be messed up though, because then it's like, oh, that's a dead, that's a dead game. Am I going to the same game? Can I not go through that side? I don't think I can. Picks. Oh, I might have to, I might have to fall through the other side in order to get through that. Okay. That's what I might have to do. I might have to fall through on the other side. It's like, oh, yo, we went to the left this time, so we'll go to the right this time. Who knows, because, like, look at this. Like, the way that the walls are abortion, like, I'm kind of exploring, like, every single part. You can't go... There's, like, no, like, direct way to go through to the other side. So it's not that bad. I think I might have heard like one or two things about people complaining about the invisible walls. Maybe it was worse in the original PlayStation 2 version, in the PlayStation 2 version. Because like you really couldn't see Jack. Like all these were like truly invisible. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're back up here. I wouldn't be surprised if this closed behind us. Of course, I wasn't surprised. Ooh, a death zone. That allows... What the... What is this? What? Long, long time ago, I was summoned by a human. And we talked of many things. What he had to say was very interesting. Do you want to hear it? Uh, sure. The man used black magic to summon me. This is what he said. Kill the man I hate. I asked, is that what I'm going to do? Kill those they hate? He replied, if you hate, you kill. That's the way we are. I admired those words. So, demonic. The, the true nature of humans. Huh. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so we went through the left side, so let's go to the right side this time. There might be actually for once the true nature of things. Let's go! We're on this side. Okay, let's see how things go this time. Did I cast a stoma? I'm actually confused. Did I cast a stoma? I'm not sure if I did. Uh, Petra cards. Uh, and we'll cast Fog Breath so that way he can't really hit us. And let's see. Wind Buffet. 
Uh, Gears weakness for Odin and Daisu. Oh, it just doesn't have a lot of, like, in general. So, stabby stabby. And we'll cast Meditation, which drains them of their MP and HP. So, haha, your Iron Claw missed. Does a lot of damage, but can't really hit us that hard. It, but it can't hit us. If your evasion's gone to Jack, your low hit, high crit move isn't gonna hit us. Again, was that an actual boss supposed to be a boss? I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Again, I'm not sure if I cast a stoma. Probably didn't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, what the heck was that? That was just like a random encounter. It probably was stronger than us, then. That is saying something, because, like, look at our level. We're 92. If that was something that could, like, technically, like, screw with us, that's saying something to do to its power. Or maybe it takes stats into consideration here. Okay, so we went to top and we went to left and the right. I'm assuming this one's like the true way forward. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> There's another ladder to go upwards. That door is also locked, so I'm actually gonna go back in the room and see if it's something else we can find. Because we still haven't gone to the left, the right door yet. So let's just kind of like run around here. Man, this is gonna be a long part to basically just due to how much stuff we have to go through here. Okay, just kind of moving forward to this. Come on! There, this should be it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. This should be it. Here we go. Chocker pot. Okay. Are you serious? Hey, see? There. Right there. Come on now. That wall right there. Open your eyes and look. What wall? This wall? Alright, I'm not sure what you're... Ah. Oh. Okay then. Huh. I guess a treasure then. Let's see what's in this cachet cube. Ooh, a moon key. Does it, is it a one use item or is it a key item? A white key that shines brightly. So I'm assuming if we go up and try to open one of the doors, um, it allows us to, well, grab an item. Demons grow restless. Don't matter, because we got stoma. Okay, so let's get out of the heck out of this place, because this place is garbage, and it's annoying. It makes me wonder, though, if there's a sun key, because usually you don't have one without the other. I mean, come on, it's basically like RPG Logic 101. If you have one thing, you have to have its parallel. If you have, th one, if you have three things, you have to have something that represents the elements. It's like, come on, how many games have you played where it's like, oh, you need the thing of fire, electricity, and wind? Or you need a uh, fire, electric, ice, wind, stuff like that. Okay, so we got a moon key. Is this it? Door's locked. You use the moon key. Let's go! Alright. What was all this trouble worth for? Ooh, another death zone. That allows us to fume up another fiend. Be it uh, Daisuko, uh, the Matador. Or we could get Hellbiker if we really wanted to. Luck. This is a burial chamber. Huh. This one, there's a tombstone without a name on it. 
But what does this one have? Here lies Mizuchi. Oh yeah, that bus. Like, so basically when we go through a labyrinth of Amala, we're just gonna get all the names of all the bosses that we defeated. That's kind of interesting and mortifying. All right. Now we kind of explored the bottom half. Like, where do we go now? This is gonna send us back without a way through, isn't it? Yep, I wasn't surprised. You're pretty strong. I'll sell you something special. Interested? Here's what I'm selling. A demon that can heal anything. You'll be glad to have one around. With that well-rounded bosom, I think anyone would rise to heaven getting healed by her. I'm asking for 30,000 maka. I know it's kinda high, but it's well worth the price. So, you want it? I'll take her. Excellent choice. You purchased a demon from Shady Broker. Now, which demon is it? New way. Huh. I knew a. So it's a female? Hmm. Mitsuri, which has uh, Puzumuri, Cure Stun, Cure Stone, fully revives, mana refill, but must be in the pack. The party has prayer. Oh man, yeah, their right wind says it heals everything. Another support demon? That's fine by me. So. Now that we got the Moonstone, basically that means like none of these doors are truly locked to us now. But that also means that we're going to have to climb all the way back up and jump down into the right side hole. So I, I kind of feel like that's a good point to cut off. So I don't want the part to get too long, but do know when we come back here next time, we're still going to be in the second Kalpa. But that everyone, my name is Omega Zero and I'll catch you all uh, later.